What's up, chat? How we doing? <laughs> it's uh, it's been a while. <laughs> How you guys doing? Fancy seeing you here on my stream when I actually hit the go live button. Yeah, that's, uh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Who am I? Yeah, hello. Welcome to the Point View stream. This is my first stream ever, actually. I've never streamed before. Um, yeah, crazy. <laughs> Hope you guys have been well. Uh, I am alive, contrary to how, what some people may believe. In fact, alive and kicking. Uh, and we've got some more sleepy dwarves to do today, okay? We, uh, unfortunately, we have to conquer the serpent spine. Um, not looking forward to that, <laughs> but that is what the mission requires. So we're gonna need to do that. Uh, it's gonna be painful, but doesn't matter. Most of the Serpent Spine is owned by Dwarves, so once we get Nationalism, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, because they get rid of the Gabos and the Orcs and stuff. So, it should mean that with Nationalism, we can take a lot of land at once. Now, when we left off, been a while, um, we are at War Segdir. There was a mission that, uh, I was going to say allowed us, forced us to declare a subjugation war on Segdir, which isn't going to work. Uh, Segdir pretty much owns the entirety of the Middle Serpent Spine, so they'll never be loyal, and even if I could get them loyal, it'll take forever to integrate them. So, we're gonna try and get through this war as fast as possible, break their alliances with their strong allies, and then come back where we can actually take land ourselves. Because it's just unreasonable to... to subjugate them. Um... It's just not gonna... It's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Uh, <clears throat> hello, Spin the Circle, Nurkor, Froyo, Silhouette, Muffle, uh, Zutza, uh, Tavarna, Bevstar, thank you for the six months, do appreciate it. Uh, delay for two hours and 40 minutes, so I can't do a lot. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think the people would be very happy with that <laughs> if I delayed it, stream more. Uh, Morton Salas, hello, Alexander the Great, hello, uh, Da, 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 spin the circle. Oh, you were the first one. You got two hellos. Lucky you. Um, Irish Ninja, hello. Good to see you. Black God, hello. Mark of Bark. Uh, hope you're all doing well. <clears throat> the legends were true. He returned. He did return. I, I did. I am alive and, and kicking. Um, yep, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, praise the cube. You know, the, the cube. I, praise it. Praise that diggity dang cube to welcome me back. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh Yeah, let's just let's just get into it. Let's, what are you kicking? Uh my desk, I guess, at the moment. I mean, that would kinda hurt. It's a metal bar, so maybe I I shouldn't kick that. Not meant to be kicked. Okay, well, let's let's get to gaming, shall we? Get to the game. Okay, so we're at war with Segdir, Irlium, and Katarata. Casual. Uh, Irlium does have a powerful mage ruler. Only one military skill, though. Uh, we have... It's not blue Katarata, but it's it's a blue-ish Katarata. Uh, Emperor Rad. Rad? Emperor Rad. The second. Uh, they're also here. So we're fighting a hell of a lot of troops right now. Uh, now, we're not even at our force limit. We are pretty far underneath it, so I would like to build up to it. Uh, it is tech 16, so we need to have a full back line. It looks like we do have that here. So really, should probably have a couple more cannons for reinforcements. Uh, hey, Fairways. Uh, Smelly Shoe, thank you for the 13 months. Rafa, thank you for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Can't believe probably woke up from the weeks of sleep. Yes, I have awoken. I have awoken in uh, confronting my nightmares. That is fighting this war. Uh, yeah, we have lots of marines, but we're not actually going to use them. We have, like, no sailor recovery speed. So, using the marines is a meme. Uh, Amy, hello. Yes, I am I am back. I'm back. Uh, okay, so we have, like, 5,000 ducats of debt. Huge. Um, we're going to be replacing economic ideas. At some point, I don't want to do it right now because that interest per annum reduction is pretty useful. But we are going to be replacing this with admin ideas. Uh, I don't think we need influence. We're not really going to use vassals, but we. Well, I mean, the city and legion is pretty large, but we'll probably just go with nationalism and. Doop, 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 doop. 
Because if we look, like, it's pretty much all of this is, uh, is dwarf. Is dwarf, so it'll make it pretty easy for us to take. Uh, this is sun elf, so I'm not sure if the elves are he hooing dwarves or if it was still, like, orcish. Yeah, it was still orcish, and that's why. Uh, but we will have to fight Bersardin Chess for this. But that's a, that's a later us problem, not a current us problem. Uh, hey, Chris, is it possible you went socializing? You went socializing like that. Would you? Oh, no, I would not. Uh, uh, need to stop playing a sleepy dwarf. They're going to sleep for one week. Let's hope I can stay awake this time. Let's hope I can, I can fight back. Uh, let's get you guys moving down there and you guys moving over here. Uh, so yeah, the, the goal for this war, like we have claims on this, is just survive, kind of. Survive, break their alliance with Kenarada and with Irlium, and that's it, literally. Maybe we take war reps, but I see 20 war score. So, the way we can go about this is we could try and rush down Virko Gulan. I'm not sure it's a great idea, though. We might just want to play it defensively. But I do need to take their capital for taking war score. So, actually, I think we are going to push out. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> uh, Amy, thank you for the 22 months. Appreciate that. And Warden Solace, thank you for the 15 months. This is just an AI for like True. I'm all. I'm a, just an illusion. I'm not real. I'm a figure of your imagination. Okay, let's build up to a 30-10 stack there. I need money. I'm taking a loan. I don't care. There we go. Build another 30-10 stack there as well. Uh, pre-recorded streams is the point of watching chat and telling me what to play. True. Yes. It's all pre-recorded. Uh, lifting the fog. The dreams of Gautrek the first condense into a sharper image for a short time, though it is not clear if it shows past, present, future, or even reality. However, it's an image they will not forget and will stay with them even after they wake up and guide them. Uh, remember, we have an immortal 666 Witch King. Uh, is cruel, which is unfortunate, but meh. Let's get that discipline guy upgraded. Uh, but yeah, we're a powerful mage. We are... Yeah, let's do that. Open ruler magic menu. Uh, we are legendary in necromancy, conjuration, divination, enchantment, and transmutation. We are currently sub uh, getting abjuration up to legendary. Now, because of this, we can do war magic here for more morale of armies. We will do that when we get a little bit closer to actually finding them. Which it looks like is relatively soon. We are upgrading our forts to level 6, but... Uh, yeah, they're going to get here before that happens. So, we'll see how it goes. Spell to change ruler sleep traits? Nah, that'd be too strong. That'd be too strong to fish for ruler traits. Uh, I am your sleep paralysis demon. Okay. <laughs> I suppose that works. <laughs> gotta, gotta work some job somehow. <laughs> uh, Tuad Dumakan. Uh, let's just go for Artisan. Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, which game is crueler can he be? Well, dang, they're going to get this fast. Fifty four percent siege ability from these guys. What the heck? How? How? Uh, offensive espionage. Yeah, okay. That'd do it. <laughs> that would defeat your entire... Your entire defensive strategy. Just offensive espionage. Uh, I do need to build a spy network on this guy to annex him. And I need to build a spy network on someone's necromancy for a mission, which I believe is why we have a spy network on Galen. Yeah. So that's what we're working on. Now, this mission says all provinces in the Serpent Spine continent. But it only highlights the holds. So... Maybe I only need the holds? 
Not sure, though. Uh, every time someone gets surprised overseas, like, there's only one answer, and yet he remains surprised. Yeah. Huh. Deep in his cups. Uh, we... Okay, in the midst of Gotrek's ritual hibernation, the vision of a bustling tavern overcomes him. Among the many patrons are two dwarves, one vaguely recognizable as a spy in our employ, and another entirely unknown. Our spy appears drunk and seems to be babbling freely about sensitive state secrets. Corvaria adds 50 spy network to us. That's fine. Okay, uh... Seems that we have equal discipline, but we have more morale. Which is fine. They're running cavalry as dwarves. Go ahead and scorch this. I'm still not thrilled that we have to do this war, by the way. Very scummy to declare a war on your nearest dwarven neighbor and not tell you what is going to happen. Like, they didn't say we were going to go into a war. And so now I'm stuck in a war against people that are much larger and stronger for literally no reason. Uh, do I go for siege ability myself or do I go for fort defense? I think I'm going to go for Siege ability. And I do have some policies I can enact. Uh, national Manpower and Attrition for Enemies sounds good. Huh. That'll work. <clears throat> All roads and hold. I think it just means everything. Caves included. Uh, Miner distinguishes themselves. Do I need a half-price advisor? Yeah. I do. Not that I have the money to upgrade them, but I do. <sighs> like, I need to push up through here. As long as I have an elder, give me... Admin points. Like, the longer I wait, the more likely it is that Elium gets his troops over here, and Kedarada gets his troops over here. You're allied to Irlium as well? I'm also allied to Abdel Ludum, but... And he allied the Lake Fed? <laughs> uh, I might just skip that mission. <laughs> Look at that. I might just skip that mission. That's going to be so toxic. It's going to be so toxic to take literally all the surface mine at this point. Oh, it's gonna be such a pain to actually get through and fight all these people. Okay, you move through. Rokko Dromak is dug to the next level. That's great. Let's go ahead and upgrade the fort there first. And... Yeah, I think we just move in. It's our best general, so... It's not a great fight for us. In fact, I would go as far as to say it is a bad fight for us. Especially if my reinforcements don't get here, ever. Can I get there in time? Nope, I sure can't. I... Fuck me, dude. I love having to fight this war. Uh, aristocratic court, royal decree. No, we're gonna need absolutism. Yeah, we're gonna need absolutism. At least a little bit. Yeah, and back over we go. I love fighting big wars in the Serpent Spine. It's very fun gameplay. Very engaging. Very fun. Very engaging. Love it. Uh, I don't need Diplo rep. I'll just save up for a higher level one. Uh, but I can't complete Elite this mission at least. What is this exactly? Dreams provide a vision of the world as it is or as it should be, a gesture in the direction we must follow. But for such a process as we hope to soon undertake, we will need much more than gestures and mere visions. Concrete information, precise steps, and a detailed list of materials will be vital to our success, and we must spare no expense in securing them. Uh, we should know more now. The dreamer awakes, their mind now privy to the previously forbidden knowledge. While just a dream, they are certain such a dream can be made reality, delivered unto our hold, but with every pursuit of power comes a price. 
I guess this would allow you to increase your skill level in necromancy, but we're gonna go for plus 10 max absolutism. We're gonna ban necromancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely banning it. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. We're definitely banning necromancy. Yes, yes, yes. No necromancy allowed. <laughs> uh, come on, man. This is just... Wars of the Serpents find suck, dude. They do. They really do. Taking that money. Paying off loans as we go. Uh, yeah, I might as well get these done. Dreaming about the meaning of life. 42 steps today from the castle chambers to the bedroom. 42 minutes of paperwork in my desk before my eyes could stay open no longer, and 42 seconds to fall asleep once my head hit the pillow. To sleep, perhaps, to dream. Uh, somehow, this is the strangest dream Gotrek ever had. They sit in a circle with a whale, two mice, and a human in a blinking metal box with a glass window displaying the number 42, and they are debating if this really is the meaning of life, whatever this might be. They feel totally out of place and get very uncomfortable as the box speaks to them and asks, are at least you accepting my answer? I'd rather be in a pub at the edge of the universe right now. <sighs> Minus 42% all power cost for two months. Man, I gotta admit, these missions suck. <laughs> they are absolute trash. Like, not telling me what I'm gonna get when I click it and then just give me a random 42% all power cost reduction. Like, why? Why would you give that to me now? Like, that's not good. I, I'm not saying that. That's, like, really strong. But, like... What am I supposed to do with this? I might just save scum it. No, I don't care. I don't care. It's just... It's very infuriating. Very, very infuriating that I get these bonuses or wars and whatnot, and I'm not told what's going to happen when I click the button. Uh, what do I need for this? 110? Yeah. There you go. It's reference out of balance. True. True. But that doesn't mean it shouldn't say what it is. Uh, anything else I can do with this all power cost? I don't think so. Let's let go. Just casually letting 42% all power cost go is what it is. Is what it is. I mean, we could go Undead Army if I really wanted to. I forgot to cast War Magic as well. El Bozo. El Bozo. And then Abjuration. I'm not... I'm not doing that. I'm not clicking through all my wards or all my provinces to find the correct ward. What would you do if you knew? Uh, save it for when I'm going to take when I replace economic ideas with admin ideas. Uh, conjuration. No enchantment. I mean, I guess I could enchant the military for 10% more morale of armies. This is what we'll probably do. <sighs> like, like, I don't want to get access through all these guys because then I have to deal with Erlium and Keterata walking in behind me. But walking up into here is death. Like, it could be that he's right here, just standing behind him. I don't know. I guess we could cast, uh, Scrying War Combatants. Actually, the better would be Scrying Neighbors. But, it's very expensive. I don't really care, though. Just take the loans. I need to know where the enemy is. All right. Move everybody up. 
Time to see if we can push through. Uh, apparently I can dig somewhere. I'm guessing it's my capital. Uh, yep. Ah, uh, what's a couple more loans? Well, that's a couple more loans when you think about it. Okay, so it'll take you... Over a month to move here. Damn. Okay, what if I force march? I mean, it still takes over a month. Doesn't really matter. So you're going to get there on the 29th, which means I want you to get there on... I don't know. I guess the 6th? It's taking so long, by the way, because moving through these passes takes a while. You're going to get there on the 25th. Okay, he leaves. Everybody move up here. I don't care how much manpower it takes. Just move up there. We have to just keep pushing forward. Have to, have to, have to. I don't want to scorch it, because then if I ever lose this, it's going to take us forever to get back across. Okay, so he has too many cannons on this stack, which is nice. Oof. Ouch. Uh, Segdir got an additional bit of discipline somehow. I'm not sure how they got it, but they did. So let's go ahead and make sure that we are reinforcing. There we go. We can't do this forever, though. Like, we're gonna... We took two to one losses there. Like, we're gonna die. We're gonna lose this war if we don't end it quickly. You think it's forever? Yeah, I know. We can flip to Undead Army, but... Do we really want to flip to Undead Army when we have to conquer the Serpent Spine? Really? Really? Like, really? The really, really? <laughs> That's gonna take forever. It took us a month to move to this problem. It'll take us even longer to move anywhere else. Of course, he's already got level six uh, forts going. Uh, ancient tome located. I'll do that. See, I can't reasonably move onto this because he's just going to attack me when I do it. Yeah, he's just going to stand on seg there. Dream about magic? We might as well just do it. Uh, magic, just when you think you have it by the throat, it bites you in the rear. Though I only understood a fraction of the Sleeper's report today, it seems they have run into challenges with channeling the energy required for their latest experiment. It is an impasse I cannot imagine solving, though I shall of course sleep on it tonight. Uh, I dreamt of mages building a tower, flinging spells in every direction as the great structure rises towards the cavern roof. The air itself is filled with powerful energy rippling through the depths. Perhaps this is a pursuit worth following. Uh, more money. Okay. It doesn't tell me what it's going to do. So the question is, are they going to get baited into, like, attacking this stack? They very well might. Like, I've got I've to gotta pick a siege to go after here. Going after Segdir, I think, is a mistake. Is he building more troops? Homie. Oh, he's strict. They, their leader died and they got strict. Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. Uh... You have magic for speed? I mean, that's true. Every problem is a land connection to the capital. It's true, put me in. Uh, I want to make sure we can take tech on time. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I also don't want to fight here is the problem. Jeez. 
Jesus, man. How many troops are you building? Like, this is such a bad fight for us. They're going to be able to reinforce. Bozos. He still goes there anyway. Uh, I think we just retreat from this. I don't think it's actually worth fighting. Yes, I get it. You have five million. Let me retreat. Fuck you. <laughs> Damn. Okay, fine. We'll just go in dead army. I fucking hate. I hate this campaign now. <laughs> All right, bitch. You want to fight? Let's fight. Uh, necromancy. Uh, undead army. Fuck you. You want to be toxic? You want to be toxic and just sit here and do nothing all the time? Yeah, I can do that too. What's my force limit? 398? Okay. I actually don't think this is worth it, but... Let's see how it goes. Am I ever going to get my morale back? Thank you. Hold here. Slightly frazzled. I'm, I'm just really, really upset that I'm in this war to begin with. Uh, being in a bad war because you declared it? Skill issue. Being in a bad war because you're forced into it without being told that you're going to go into it? Not skill issue. Just bad design. Uh, go ahead and start slackening. What makes Undead Army OP again? Uh, my losses don't matter. Uh, I gain 10,000 manpower a month. And... I can just summon more dudes. Yeah. I don't actually like Undead Army, but... But, but, but. If I'm gonna have to just fight in the Serpent Spine the whole time, and... I can't beat him anyways, so... It doesn't really matter. Okay, move all of you together. Now the problem is it makes our troops suck. Uh, they're not very good. What it will do is allow us to hopefully win this war. We had to do something because we weren't gonna win if we just kept trying to fight them fairly. Uh, okay. Advanced artisan infrastructure complete in the capital. Except I do distinctly remember we never clicked the button for it because it wasn't available. But thanks. <laughs> easy. Actually easy. Okay. So, they have too many cavalry. <laughs> They have 9,000 cabins. Too many cavalry. <laughs> Funny. Uh, we've lost discipline. Well, that's not good. Uh, your septicism stab cost. No. Go for that. Go ahead and reinforce. Undead recruits from the battle rise, but don't show me the pop up every time. There we go. So now we push him back. And the main thing is, he'll run out of manpower now before I run out of manpower. Uh, it does mean that pretty much after every fight, we have to replace an army, uh, which, you know, has its downsides for sure. But. It'll be fine. We're building more. Barrage. Thank you. Send half of them there. And they will recover relatively quickly. Let them stay home. Don't really care where it is. Oh, joy. His allies have shown up. I, 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 
I don't think we can win this war. I'm going to be honest with you. I think we are absolutely fucked. <laughs> this is not a war I would have declared on my own. Uh, another thing about Undead Army is we're very slow. Like, we're going to lose this fight. Well, listen, no, I, I never want to play this tag again. <laughs> I never want to play this tag again. The extent of the content is spend 400 Monarch Point, get event. Spend 400 Monarch Point, get event. It's not very... I'm not going through this again for that. Okay, you move in. You move in. Uh, we might be able to pull this off, actually. Yeah, so we lost 40,000. They lost 6,000. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> My zombie marines are here, actually. Never mind, guys. We're okay. The zombie marines are here. Blood and sweat. Okay. Just peace out, Segdir. You want to peace out, Segdir. You do not want to fight this war, Segdir. You simply want to give up and let me win. Yes. Yes, you do. We definitely can't peace out unless we break their alliance. So, also, sorry if you hear that truck that's outside backing up. Uh... 90,000 here. That's cool. Yay! We got a siege, guys. We got a siege. Let's go. Now we gotta grab Segdir. Or, sorry, Verko Gulan. So you're gonna go grab Verko Gulan. Uh, honestly, you can get the... Uh, actually, you have 15% siege ability. It's fine. You're going to stand there, and there, and there, and there. Dominate? Well, that's true. We could just cast Dominate. How much does it cost? 50 Admin and 50 Diplo? Yeah. Now we just have to take their capital. Which is going to be a whole thing. I could try and grab Misty Cave and then go after Stonewall just so they they can't walk behind, but like, also I could not do that. <laughs> I could just not. I could just walk forward. Dun, dun, dun. Don't want to take that fight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I'm just gonna have to take that fight. If my CB was in their capital, we'd be in a much better spot. Unfortunately for us. Oh, I paid off my loans. Oh, nice. Okay. Losses don't matter. I mean, they do kind of matter, but they don't matter, but they kind of do matter. They kind of don't, but they kind of do still. Like, I still need to be able to move through places. Uh, luckily, we have just unlimited supply here. Okay, let's go grab this. Looks like they're going to go after that which is unfortunate but it doesn't matter because I'm just going to dominate this I'm going to go after the next one I'm going to dominate this too 
I have to wait a month, though. How much XP do I have for the studying? Uh, 1,500. All right, Siege Magic. Dominate to Surrender. Didn't work. Which is bad, because they are very quickly making their way back to Contest. Ooh, except I've blocked them off from contesting. Uh, but I would rather get this... Yeah, I really want this sooner rather than later. So if we can get this Dominate to Surrender, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, that's 7% war score. It's, uh, it's not enough war score. But it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, who needs war score, honestly? The good news is they're trapped. Well, they should be trapped inside the mountains. They're not actually trapped, but they should be trapped. Should and are are two different things. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll take this fight. That works for me. Let's just make sure that we have war magic up still. Yes, we do. I think he's passing by time. <sighs> Don't tell me. I agree. Reinforce. Bozos. Okay. Well, now... Again, got to replace our our infantry front line every time we have a battle. Get you back down to having 30. I guess we go after Misty Cave. Not to be confused with the Misty Mountain, of course. Just Misty Cave. To try and secure this. Uh, Katarata's getting close to wanting out. Damn. Cracked the roar, lost some land. Order in the Sleepy Kingdom. Yes, we can't have too much order in the Sleepy Kingdom. That would just be... Well, that would just be terrible. Just be absolutely horrendous if we had order in the Sleepy Kingdom. Can't be having that. No, no, no. Uh, luckily, siege attrition doesn't really matter all that much. I mean, it, it kind of does. Oh, hey, look. Ilium's here, too. Nope, they left. <laughs> Never mind. They decided they were not interested. I do need to save 5,000 ducats for a mission, so we're going to do that. Uh, actually, I don't need all these troops on this. I can just back them up. Like, yeah, he's going to walk around to fight them. But, like, then I just do this. Wow. Dummy. <laughs> what, what do you... How many times do I have to use this spell before people learn that I'm just going to use it every time they try and engage me? On a fort. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, actually, no. Actually, simply, just, how about no, man? Dummy. Uh, oh, well, so much for saving up 5,000 ducats. The Corundum Layer. Corundum is a rock or a mineral that is found in igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks with a value of 9 on the Dwa's hardness scale. The mineral is widely known for its extreme hardness and for the fact that it is sometimes found as beautiful transparent crystals in many different colors. The extreme hardness makes Corundum an excellent abrasive, and when that hardness is found in beautiful crystals, you have the perfect material for cutting gemstones. We've encountered a massive layer of it. How should we proceed? Uh, nothing shall stop us, but I don't want to take the loans, so we'll hold off for a moment. All right. Uh, we can probably stop slackening at this point. We were, we were slacking because we had like 5,000 manpower or something. And that mission is just the money one. Actually, I need 5,000. I need 
twenty thousand ducats for these missions. Uh. One out yet? No, he almost wants out though. This fight should hopefully do it. Uh huh. He like, he doesn't even reinforce. Doesn't even reinforce. The coward. The absolute coward. Thank you for being a coward. That's not me saying that you shouldn't be a coward. Uh, thank you, but you coward. You left your homies to die. How dare you? Uh, a true Kataradan would never do such things. No, no, no. Me, known expert on Katarada. Definitely know a lot about Katarada. Uh, let's go for construction cost reductions. And there we go. Level 5 for that hold, which is pretty sweet. Um, court and country, yeah. I mean, I may want to fire court and country, but like at this point, like... Uh, I don't know, dog. I don't know how we can pull that off. I need to make the cartels much weaker. Unfortunately, I had to give them things for missions. Like, I want to get rid of Colonial Charter. Actually, I want to get rid of everything here. For the most part. They want me to build a temple in the crack? Okay. There you go. Eh, no need to do that yet. Like, I want to build manufacturing stuff. Oh, I have another, like, 100,000 troops back here. Undead army moment, by the way. Oh, yeah, I just have a, a casual 100,000 troops just sitting back here hanging out. Yeah, my bad. Forgot about those ones. <laughs> Why did I just take a bunch of loans? Oh, because the... Because the corundum layer. What did I spend my money on? I don't know. I don't care. We'll pay off the loans. Are you really going to attack these guys? It's going to be super majorly lame to do. Advisors? Ah, yep. That is what I did. Thank you. I did upgrade all my advisors. All right, Katarana. Go away, please. Thank you. Buvari announces me as a rival. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, Buvari. I'm always rival to Buvari. <clears throat> the YouTube run, I'm sure Buvari will eventually rival me. Even though we're homies. Please get this siege. Okay. I said please, though. So, you really should consider it. Sleeper Research 5? No, I'm good. Okay, that's 25 war score. Yeah. Give me war reps. Okay, give me some money. That's not worth that truce. Okay, that's it. I literally just want to break their two alliances. All that. All that so I can break two alliances, as you do. Okay. Let's move everybody back. Uh, no one of your poor zombies don't pay taxes. Well, that sounds like quitter talk to me. Well, why shouldn't they pay taxes? Hmm? They have jobs, do they not? I don't pay them, but... Mm hmm. The adventurers are super disloyal. If I seize land... <laughs> I'm just gonna get a crazy amount of rebels. Crazy amount of rebels. Okay, split you up into stacks of 50 so you're not taking attrition. Thank you very much. Walk back. Segdir is now without allies. Hopefully they don't ally these guys. My Diplo rep is making it to where they don't want to ally me. Attack against Shattered Crown. Okay. What disaster's incoming? Eh, uh, just these. 
estates being too strong. Nothing we actually have to concern ourselves with. There we go. Take Diplotech and Miltech. We can upgrade our cannons. There. Yes. Uh, do we have zombie hordes or skeletal musketeers? I think we have zombie hordes, right? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, force limit is currently 400,000. So, grab these cannons and send them over here. Let's give 5,000 troops there. Grab these cannons and send them over here. There we go. Get you up to 50,000. Grab the one infantry here. Lifting the fog. I, I don't even know what that really means, but okay. We need to kill that guy. I don't need these spy networks anymore. Do you still have the telescope hold? Yep. I sure do. I sure diggity dang do. This is minus 10 max absolutism. Uh, we're going to need to summon the rebels. And I will do so after all these troops are built. Casual 15,000 manpower gone. Uh, let's get plus one max, or plus one yearly absolutism. That'll help. Okay, he's killing poison rock. It's fine. I was going to help him do it myself, but not a huge deal. Okay, and let's send our troops throughout the realm to deal with the rebels that are about to pop up. You walk up here. Uh, the Pantheon grows. We have discovered Dulur Azan Ironhand. Only son of Azmire Thazine and Argazena, Dulur, Dulur Azan has taught mastery over the black metals such as iron, rot, and cast, steel, adamantine, and titanium. In time, he created the arms and armor of the gods and their servants in the era of war. During the giant break wars, one of his arms was severed by a fire giant kin when he was captured. His mother, Durzo Brazan, freed him from captivity and forged a new arm as a replacement. Delur Azan is seen as the patron of all blacksmiths, and many of our smiths now keep small shrines to him. Okay. So you have 30,000 cannons. You have 30,000 cannons. We can also celebrate a festival. Uh, Father of Mountains. The High King's Palace is quiet today, even as massive crowd is gathered to observe the ceremony about to occur. Go truck emerges, but there is no cheering. Silence is paramount. The first cart of alcohol is brought forth, followed by the High King without a word and aided by several pri priests of Dagrin, who taps the first massive barrel that stands at least 15 feet tall and is branded with the symbol of Dagrin. A rough line forms, each participant possessing a mug. The drinks will be passed out for the entire day here in Virgil Dromac and across the country as a blessed Dagrin's drink distributed by the priesthood of Dagrin. Okay. Nice. Have we had Serpent's Rot yet? No. No, we have not. Thank you for the reminder that the Serpent's Rot will be showing up. <laughs> and we all know it's going to be in my territory. We all know it's going to show up here. Ain't no way. Ain't no way it doesn't show up. Are we really? What? We were transferring trade, but it wasn't actually transferring. What in the world? Oh, well, that's weird. Ooh, get that upgraded. Thank you. Get that upgraded. Yeah, there's so many centers of trade that we can get upgraded. I just want the level ones to get up to level two. Thank you. Okay, let our troops move. Uh, also, with the fact that we have so many troops, I can have a whole bunch of generals as well. Uh, Amy, you wanted one earlier. Let me get you in there. Hm. Minus two army tradition a year. Very sad. All right, and let's go ahead and seize. Oh, good. They're all over here. That yeah, makes my life easier.
Ooh, that's yeah, they're they're super dead. They are not going to make it. Oh, they they did make it, actually. Okay, what do I know? What do I know? Production is stifled. I'll just gain the inflation. No! Dang it. Sorry, it's next to a fort, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Okay, you do that. Mission fulfilled. Sleep for research five. But we haven't even done these these yet, so I don't really want to click that button. Plus, it's 300 of each monarch point, which... Yeah, I don't really want to just spend. I'm gonna be honest. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, okay, a couple things we need to do. Number one, let's start building a spy network on Segdir. Number two, we're gonna have to break our alliance with Abdel Ledham. How close to nationalism are we? We're like three techs off. So, I mean, I could wait to go to war with Segdir till I get nationalism, but I don't think that's the correct decision. I think that will just lead to them re allying their homies and me being very frustrated that I did not go to war with them when I said I should have gone to war with them. Also, why is this stack so scuffed? I don't know. I don't know why this... Maybe I just missed this one. Ew! Ew! Cavalry? Oh, it's from when we click the button. That's why. Because it, it automatically gives you cavalry for undead army when you click the button to go to undead army. So that's why. Uh, okay. Pay that off. Thank you. Actually, is there even any reason to drill? I don't think there is. We gain like minus 75% army drill gain because we have undead army. So, it would probably be better just to not pay for my troops. In all honesty. So just... Because we get our morale back, like, instantly as these guys, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, manufactories. Oh, Segdir gets it. Okay. If you're paying for zombies, why aren't they paying taxes? Good point. Just more evidence that zombies should pay taxes. I'm going to pay off my loans. Uh, yeah, now we need to save up for the missions that require money. Raj is apparently no longer a valid rival. I mean, I don't think they've been a valid rival for a while, but sure. Veins of precious minerals found. Five legitimacy, 25 admin points, 10 prestige, or a lot of money. I will take the a lot of money option. Thank you very much. That side here looks perfect, though. You know what would look even more perfect? If it was green. Sure, you can have maps of bomb, then I don't care. I would love to ally this guy. Twenty power projection from insults. Wow. We actually have an ally, guys. Why am I guaranteeing Gatask and Astrakuma? Well hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait a second, what are you doing here? <laughs> What are you doing here? Didn't I kill you one time? Aren't you supposed to be dead? Hmm. Small price to pay. New DD can be selected. Uh, I think 10 pound... Plus two land leader shock? Whew. Yeah, mm, that's pretty good too. <laughs> Somehow the command returned. <laughs> uh... You don't have to bring that up. You don't have to bring that. You don't have to bring that movie up. <laughs> you didn't need to do that. Okay. Instantly embrace institution. Segdir apparently no longer a valid rival. I don't know if I agree with that, but okay. Shattered Crown is my rival. If 
Finding them is going to be absolute ass, dude. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to be bad. Oh, that's in such a long time. We don't even need to worry about it right now. Okay. Goblin ambush. Ooh. That's, that's not good. Again, our troops are very slow, so it's going to take them a while to get back there. We're about to max out on mill points. What's the point of randomly on the hold there? <laughs> I, I can't. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you what the point of it was. Uh, I need generals. I need five generals. Who wants to be a general? I have 61 army tradition, so... Hopefully they're somewhat decent. I'm not going to wait for this. Don't think that's really worth it. Yeah, it does technically open another point for expanding. That's true. But then you have to have troops over there, which is... Like, weird. <laughs> refund? Oh, no. We don't do that. We don't use the refund word around here, okay? No refunds. <laughs> Honestly? Yeah, I want, like, a 6-6 six, six general. But having 6 maneuver also would not be too bad. Because we're slow. And so maybe, if we're faster, then, you know, things will go good. What is that, Buvari? Eh, it's just Buvari when the Raj doesn't do well. They're just chilling, you know? I don't want to think about how many mercs they would hire if I attacked them. I don't... I don't want to... I don't want to think about it. <laughs> 321. Oh, man. Alright. <laughs> I've spent so much money on stupid ass things for the mission tree that I haven't been able to actually build up my country. Uh, we can kill Abdel Kanzad real quick. Do, 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 do. There we go. They've been dealt with. Get you back over here. Can at least take this. I don't remember why we released them, but I released them on purpose. I think it was for a mission. I think I needed a dwarf to like me. And Segdir hated my guts, so they didn't really count. So you Hogons rejoice. We give you the ultimate freedom. Enjoy it and don't come knocking when it gets funky outside. We're sleeping. Kudos. Hey, uh, Bob, what the hell do we mean by getting funky here? <laughs> and why is a mountain moving? <laughs> Oh, that's right! No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we gave these three provinces, I think. Didn't I have the command as a vassal? I, I don't remember what I did. I think I gave the command these, I think I took these provinces, gave them back to the command when the rending was going to start, and then just didn't worry about it. I didn't want to get rended. Uh, no thank you. The truce with Segdir isn't up till 54. Okay. Well, good news about having an undead army. You really don't need to have your army paid for until, like, the month before. He's pretty convenient. Okay. So, we're about to max out on admin points and on mill points. We need to get rid of... Economic ideas, I think. I mean, I suppose... Well, no, that's not true. We could just wait for level... For Tech 22 to take admin ideas. I don't necessarily need to... To tank it. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. He said, unconvinced of what he was actually saying. Seventy. Uh, yeah, I need twelve thousand ducats so I can manually day. You, I need so much money. I need so much money. It's crazy. Serpents might. Um. What, weren't we making, like, incense before? 
Uh, Summer Spite, is this the end? The mountains themselves seem to roar with rage as an earthquake, unlike any scene in living memory, shakes our hold to its very core. Great cracks form in the rocks, swallowing buildings whole, and rubble falls from above, shattering structures and burying citizens alive. For a full hour, the quake continues, reaping ever more damage as the seconds go by, and then, just as suddenly as it began, it ceases. The damage is immense, and many of our resources are taken up simply keeping our hold in one piece. Now, however, a choice lies before us. This great quake, which split open the core of our hold, has revealed many precious minerals that were previously undiscovered. Due to the unstable nature of the fissures, access to these minerals will likely be short-lived. We could devote effort to harvesting these resources, but this would surely take away from the efforts to rescue and treat survivors. We should exploit those untapped ores. The wounded must be taken care of. No, the wounded. We don't care about the wounded. Uh, but there is a chance that we can get mithril in our capital. There is a chance that it could, in fact, work. Uh, do we want to... Okay, we'll do the choosing of the teams. Uh, slash... Prediction. Not a poll. A prediction. All right. Okay. Start prediction. What new resource will we get? Um, so there's a 20% chance that we'll get mithril. A 35% chance that we get iron. And a 45% chance that we get copper. Which one will we get? Boom. Get your bets in now, everybody. Get your bets in now. Which one will it be? It's big, Dawi. Everybody's got big ass armies, and I have to use freaking undead to even get close to what they're doing. Feels bad. Feels very bad. Yeah, it gets you up to 50,000 troops as well. Uh, Nadia's thinking for the four months. Appreciate it. It's actually pretty even. Pretty split. Really, we're hoping for mithril, then iron, then copper. Now burn it for mithril. <laughs> Funny. But he'd be like, yes, I get to decide what it is. But no, we'll just take what we get. We'll just take what we get. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right, submissions are closed. Uh, a lot of non-believers out there. Let's see what we get. And... The believers win again. The believers stay winning. Okay? They stay winning. I think that's the second time in a row. Because the last time we did this, I also got Mithril. Thank you for believing, believers. Doubters, L. L for the doubters. Free recorded. <laughs> yeah, free recorded. Uh-huh. Skill issue. Let's go. That's going to be so much money for us. It's going to be so much money for us. <laughs> Making a PB&J. Uh, we got the event that changed our trade good on our capital. And it changed to Mithril. So we're making more money now. And I like making more money. Let's go for... Well, goods produced is pretty tempting. Actually, let's grab the dev cost. And I'm going to go to... Oh, we have artificers now. I... I mean, I should probably give state artificers. No, I don't care. Just give them independent units. No, because state artificers doesn't lose me absolutism. You have two hundred of the capital. It's you can only have one. I don't want to lose absolutism. If I can help it. Damn, you have so much influence. Oh. It's because of the expedition that we did. I shouldn't have wasted all the money on it. It was actually a, a huge waste. Uh, okay, so ruler magic menu. Let's go to divination. Let me save the game real quick.
<laughs> okay, do foresight. Because it's going to give us all power cost minus 33%. Okay, just want to make sure. Then I can also do Scry General Affairs, which will give us an additional minus 10% all power cost. See, and imagine if I could stack this up with, I don't know, uh, picking a random number out of a hat here, 42%. Imagine. Uh, hey, Brian. How goes the dreaming? It goes. All right? It goes, and that's what matters. That's what matters. Is that it is going. I am doing the the thing, and... Yep. <laughs> We're going to get through this. Okay. Uh, yeah, mission that required a bunch of development on roads. Meh. Here. This is what I need. I think I was wanting to just develop uh, gold mines, right? Gold, gold, gold. Yeah, but that's all the gold I have. So I guess we just develop. We just develop to develop. I mean, it's basically free because of all of our bonuses here. Do, 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 And I mean, imagine if we could uh, also have like super loyal burgers. We don't, but you know, imagine. Think about it. <laughs> Be pretty nice, huh? Okay, is that enough? It is enough. Beautiful. Durable constructions. It is clear that there are certain lessons known to ancient dwarven engineers that remain beyond us now. But the recent dream of an engineer who fell asleep on, thankfully empty, railroad tracks give us insight into some of the principles which have led to the ancient rail still being present, if inoperational. And that knowledge should bolster constructions closer to home as well. Greatly decreases the devastation caused in street fights. Okay. Uh, I do think that we just keep developing, though. Oh, look at this. MP, MP development right there. One nine eleven. Huge. We could build training fields here for manpower. Massive. MP players would be so proud. So proud of this perfect development. I really should be building these manpower buildings too. I Like, the amount of money that we have just thrown into a hole. And not even like a kobold gold hole. Just like a... Invisible, useless hole is kind of insane uh, and very frustrating to think about. Like, we could be so much stronger. So much stronger. There we go. Perfect. Is this bit bucket? Yes, but at this point, it's a bit of an older bit bucket. Not the fancy top of the line stuff. Probably about a week and a half old, maybe, something like that. Uh, encourage development. Thank you. Uh, by the way, the reason why this is like good development is it has the least amount of tax dev and it gets you over 20, which gives you an extra building slot. Uh, and it gives you manpower and it gives you money. That's why it's so it's good development. It's... Yeah, I don't need to develop that anymore. <laughs> there we go. He lacks the valley. We do lack the valley. The valley is not in this version of the bit bucket, unfortunately for us. Okay, there we go. Any other holds you need dug for mission? Think lazy dwarf hold at least. Uh, I mean, we're digging our capital at the moment. No, it's not looking like it. Not yet, at least. Not yet. Well, I guess I just keep developing these roads. Uh, okay. There we go. And encourage development here. I mean, it's just so cheap to develop. 
Now, this may come back to bite us when I need the governing capacity later on, since I need to conquer everything, but you know, it's fine. It's a later me problem, not a current me problem. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh, funny, funny, funny. We just gained, we just gained like, I don't know, 70,000 max manpower or something from that. <laughs> uh, undead army moment. Undead army moment. We also gained like 50,000 force limit. <laughs> Oh, funny, 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 funny. Let's create a template for 50,000 infantry. Build them all right here. You don't want to spam click town halls? <laughs> no. Won't matter, though. We'll have to do it, no matter what I may desire. Or not desire. Okay. Don't want to lose my military advisor. So, I mean, that gave us a pretty big boost to our everything, for the most part. Income, manpower. Uh, Going capacity is looking somewhat fine, I suppose. Could be worse, could be better. Not all too worried about it. Uh, we make 6,800 manpower a month, which isn't too bad. You still have no allies, which is good. Heavy axe. Okay. Uh, upgrade all forts. True. True. We do need to upgrade all forts. I I'm going to do this mission, though. Because it's going to give our capital uh, plus 100% defensiveness. So. I mean, no one should ever touch it at this point, but you never know, right? Better to be safe than sorry. Ooh, I do... Oh, it also gave me all of my crown land back. Yeah, that's pretty nice. If I... Hmm. Like, I could seize land, I suppose. Four owned areas will gain ten unrest. Four owned provinces will revolt. True. Do I care? Not particularly. I'm gonna be honest. Getting to 60 would give me more absolutism. Which would be nice. <sighs> uh, anyone know of Sigurd's victory lines from planes? Kind of tired of Jad and other boy types of splurging all of his centaurs? I uh, don't know. Yeah, let's let's just do the mission that's gonna give me uh defensiveness on my capital. Architects and mages. Dwarves have tended to use clever engineering rather than powerful magic and ensuring a hole is well defended. But we Malachi dwarves ask, why not use both? With the mages consulted in our design of Urkel Dromax's latest set of fortifications, we can build defenses that not only stand on their own, but resonate with our mages' myriad rituals and channel arcane energy with maximum efficiency. So we get plus one hundred percent local defensiveness in the capital. I mean, this has 256% defensiveness, which is actually not true. Because if I go to Abjuration. Is it not Abjuration? No, it's Conjuration. I can summon a Magical Fortress. Oh. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Not this again. No, 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 no. Oh, thank God. It didn't take too long. Okay. Conjurer and Vircal Dromac. Makeshift magical fortifications is a commonplace thing in war, often in the form of barricades or cover. However, like most conjured objects, it only lasts for a short period of time. The most powerful conjurers have discovered, however, that if the same exact object is conjured over a periodic length of time, it can enter a state of permanence. One such example is the conjuration of magical fortresses and citadels with only willpower and a few choice reagents. Aren't you digging? Oh, true. I don't know if that's all mess it up. It's a good point. Mission Hall of the Medic? 
Oh, you're right. The crack. Uh... Well, I've lost my all power cost. But I can get up to six. Oh, I could have expanded infrastructure. Oh well. Okay, now that we've done that mission, then now we can... Well, we have another mission that costs money too, but we can upgrade our forts and we can build our manufactories and all that. Uh, Mr. Slurpers, thank you for the six months. Appreciate that. And Crown Snow, thank you for the Prime sub. Very kind of you. Also, the School of Diplomats? Damn, you right. You right, though. You right, though. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for the next time we do the major development stuff. As we'll, uh, we'll get both of those developed on up. Sure, I'll take the Inno. Professionalism, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and pay for our troops. Sage advice. I gained 100 of each monarch point. We are so back. And apparently that completes the mission. Sleep research 5. I will not be doing that at the moment. Uh, but what I will be doing is declaring war on Segdir. For probably Verka Gulan. I can even get Abdul Ludum in on this. I don't... Do I want to? Yeah, because I'm not going to be able to reach over here to get a border with Abdel Ludum. I'm not calling him in. Just in case I can. I don't think I can, but just in case. Uh, so let's declare war for Rukugulan. We all the way down the bottom. That's how the alphabet works. And I could call an Avdo let him. I'm going to. That way Avdo let him doesn't take land in a separate war. It's going to be my justification. Alright, and let's get these guys a moving out. Here we go. Obviously, we know it's going to take forever to move across here, but uh, we have two cannon stacks. So we're going to have one cannon stack sieging and another one that is doing this. We can also use dominate. There's really no reason not to for us. I uh, will grab the siege ability. Thank you. Oh, that was a bit of a lag spike. How is your movement speed, actually? I mean, yeah, we do have infrastructure, but... Uh, minus 30%. So we're a little bit faster than the normal undead. Just a little bit, though. Hey, baby, spy network on you. For some reason, oh, I'm just improving with neighbors. That's why I didn't improve the command. I was like, why am I improving with the command? Uh, let's improve with you. I will take... Honestly, I'll take the 50 prestige. Now, we're going to need to break Abdel Ludum apart from these guys. Ooh, Virgo Dromax. Interesting. So we have the Ornatorium still. But since our trade good change, it changes the infrastructure we get to choose. Should I just keep it Artisan? I, I think we just keep it artisan, to be honest with you. Just to keep the trade efficiency and the trade power. If we weren't undead army, I might consider military, but... Well... Let me save. I don't want to choose a different one and then to break it. I don't know what happens.
Uh, I want to see what two good players can do to ask a sir segment all co-op. It won't be as good as just one player owning it all. I hate to tell you. Well, I guess it's not entirely true, but it, it's kind of true. No, I keep the ornatorium. Okay. Uh, what to do with these admin points? Well, first of all, damn it. Uh, ruler magic menu, go abjuration, and cast the <laughs> plus five attrition for enemies. Does this count for? Provinces I occupy or only provinces that I own? It says every province of the land connection to the capital. Hmm. Well, only one way to find out. Attrition, attrition, attrition. For enemies. We have expulsion unrest. Okay, so it's only promises that I own. Okay, so that wasn't all that worth it. But it's good to know. Had to learn somehow. Uh, age ability. Uh, none of these matter at all. Do that. Okay, Segdir without their homies is uh, literally a pushover. We just walk in and take it. Especially because I have homies. Now, what do I want to take from this war? I'm not so sure. Probably something like that. Well, or, or I could be real smart. There we go, Grosnad's level five. That should complete the mission. Um, because this is Cave Troll, so I'm not going to get the nationalism is going to work on Cave Trolls. But I could also just try and take forts here. Cave Trolls being one of those forts. So that's probably what we'll end up doing, something like that. Okay, still no access through Jad, that's good. I thought that... Grustnet... Not Grosnet, Grosm Deer. Grosm Deer needs to be level four, not Grostanad. <sighs> Semantics, okay? Uh, it's honestly the same thing, okay? They're both Dwarven holds. What's the big deal? Uh, oh no. You know what that means. The cube. The cube has arrived. The cube is here. And not a lot of people flipped. That's a very reaching court heavy game. Coronite did not do well. So how are you alive? Allied to Irlium. Interesting. Yes, praise the cube! You switched the cube. No, I don't think so. I don't think we'll do it. We made Bugs Bunny joke about Serpent Spine? I did? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure I did? Because I don't... I don't know if I did. Also, someone earlier, you asked if I take attrition. Uh, sorry, I, I kind of ignored that. Uh, Undead Military takes minus 75% land attrition. So, essentially, no. We do not. And we take very little morale damage. 
Uh, so under military, you get 10% morale of armies and navies, 150% global manpower, minus 50% infantry costs, 150% land force limit, minus 75% land attrition, 10% manpower recovery speed, 50% sailor recovery speed, 300% reinforced speed, minus 50% reinforced cost, reinforce, or recover army morale speed plus 50%, naval morale recovery speed 50%, Minus 0 0.02 monthly war exhaustion, 50% disembark speed, minus 33% morale hit when losing a ship, plus 2 attrition for enemies, takes very little morale damage. But we take 30% more fire and shock damage, we do 10% less artillery combat ability, or minus 10% artillery combat ability, merc manpower minus 25%, movement speed minus 40%, drill gain minus 75%, and global unrest plus 2. Why is morale hit when losing a ship colored red? I don't know. But it's a, it's a good point, but I don't know. We do? Oh, sorry. We do less fire and shock damage. My bad. Apollo cheese. Uh, move you up here. I shouldn't get too cocky. A little cocky is fine. Too cocky, not good. Not good. Okay, you guys make your way up. Siege of Rokugulan's completed. That's very bad. That's like super bad, actually. Hello? Thank you. Uh, let's. Oh, I need to study something. Uh, evocation. There we go. Abjuration. Oh, you can only have one of these? Darn. That's okay. It'll take the orcs forever to actually take anything. Mm -hmm. Demand a praise? I did. I did praise a cube. What do you mean? Uh, uh, praise a cube 2.0. I did. I did. I did. All right. No scams here. You pay for the cube, I give the cube. It's as simple as that. Uh, I'm gonna max out on my admin points. Meh. What I want to spend them on. Can't stab up. Got no inflation. I guess I just throw them into holds. Even if it's super expensive, I just throw them into holds. Gold rush. Yay! Mm, I just want to do the mission or do I want to build buildings? I will do the mission. Uh, normally, dwarves build down, but after our latest dream, it seems we must build up and recreate the towering spire of our vision to leverage its magic-enhancing design. What are we, elves? Build up? What kind of elven propaganda is this? We dig down. Diggy, diggy hole, not buildy, buildy tower. Everybody knows the saying. Buildy, buildy tower. Build up heresy. You know, back in my day, well, we didn't have dwarves wanting to build up. Okay? We were good dwarves and we dug it down and we didn't complain about it. Actually, we did. We complained about everything, but we still did it. Because we're dwarves. So, you know, we got to complain about everything. That's how it works. Uh. Play plays back in the prank and sadly, he no longer has one. True. True, true, true. Back broken. Old man mode activated. Give me the prestige decay reduction. Administrative gridlock. Oh no! I lose a stability. Which means I get to boost my stability, which gives me more absolutism. Oh no. Not so hard to treat this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
the orcs just simply cannot get through that siege. I could go attack these guys, but they're in mountains, and I really don't need to. Sure, Dawi, if you want access, you can... You can have the access. Uh, South Great Cavern has been taken, so let's move you up here. And you... Split up and grab all that. I think back to trying to siege this down. It's nice that they're not focusing on me, though. I just get to chill out. Okay, you walk up to there. You need to make sure you follow the orcs, because the orcs get to retreat. So you gotta make sure you're... actually killing them. Uh, with all this money, I can finally build... Main factories. I don't know why I'm making 0.87. Is that the special? Yeah, it's the special fun guy. That's fine. We'll build a farm estate there. I mean, it's 0.87. That's worth it. The wine, though, I'm not as convinced about. Like, look at all the manpower we got. We have so much manpower. Oh, so much manpower. No! This guy needs a general. Go. Oh, that siege. Okay, I don't care. I was like, wait, what? How did I lose a siege? Where? <laughs> but it's the one that our, our ally had taken. So I'm not all too concerned about it. Isn't this much nicer now that I don't have to fight Erlium and Ketarata? <sighs> He's allied the Lake Fed and Erlium. So I'm gonna have to fight one of them. I'd rather fight Erlium than Lake Fed, though. Lake Fed has almost half a million troops, Erlium has 162. That's a pretty easy decision to make, if I have to, uh, make it any clear. It's a, a pretty simple thing. Uh, the growing tower. The tower grows greater still, though there is a strange essence instilled upon it. It resonates with power mystery, as it should, but there is something missing. What more can be done to improve it? Until the end of the game, we get plus two local unrest, plus five percent tech cost, minus 2.5 percent all power cost. Okay. Send you back to fight these guys. Uh, Lake Fed is Tech 20. They're caught up. They are the same tech as we are. If that is what you were wondering. AKA, we don't want to fight them. Which is why I've allied them. Alright, move on to Segdir proper. We keep studying. We get smarter. Our dwarven brains are ever expanding. We are simply big brained. Are you half price? Nope. <laughs> nope. You are not. Uh, I don't need the attrition for enemies from that. Unnecessary. I don't know. A lot of them is really struggling here. Alright, Hodavar has been taken. Royal marriage with Abdel Ladim has ended. I suppose that's cool. Is this a fort? Yeah, it's a fort. He's not ready to peace out yet. I mean, it's only 302 admin. It's not too bad. Uh, I can, though, do a dominate here on Segdir. Failed domination. Boo! Boo! Uh, what do you mean, failed domination? Simply do it. Simply be successful. Okay. 
Okay, and he might make his way back to fight me here. So let's have our troops in position to actually do something about it. Uh, I need to increase my tolerance of hobgoblins. So I can break their alliance with people, is the thing. Like, I have the favors. But... I can only do it so many times. Right? Like, if I tell them to break their alliance with Erlium, and then try and tell them to break their alliance with... These guys. I think it's like a 15-year cooldown or something. So, he just re-ally Erlium at the time. So I have to do it right before I peace out. Or right before I declare... Right before I break my alliance with them, I have to force them to break the alliance. There are other things I could do. I could, like, go to war with Jad. Never mind. I was going to say I could go to war with Jad and then call in the lake fed, but they're guaranteeing them. So that won't work. <sighs> How would that work? Not one bit. Tell Love Hold to break the alien and tell Lake Fed to break with Love. Yeah, that would work. Right? It's not a global cooldown, it's just a cooldown with the tag, right? So yeah, that would work. Northern League is apparently here. And Westham is the Emperor. Is your real service fighter Bulwar? It's Bulwar. Tis in fact Bulwar. Now if I didn't do this. No, I can't even I can't even get close. To get in over there. So we can do this. We could also do this. Is there any benefit of doing this over this? Not really. Well, that's not true. It gets me farther down the road. So that way I can get a border with Avdel Ludum sooner. And to be fair, I could also just not take the fort. I think this is fine. We get... Uh, Four forts off of him in this. There we go. Go ahead and core all up. Sweet. Now we have to move all of our stacks back. And we can go back to speed five because we don't have anyone else to fight for a while. Segdir is going to attack Jadari. Yeah? You sure about that? Is he not going to defend? Is that why? He is not going to defend because he's 12,000 ducats in debt. I'm so mad. Would be nice, but we're not there. You. <laughs> right, I can dig this when I'm not supposed to be able to. Heh, <laughs> funny. Uh, go ahead and dig. And Grosm Deer was the other person that I also needed to dig. There we go, get you to 50. Expand that. So now when this is done building, I can dig. Sure, I'll do let him. I'll give you that. Order in the Sleepy Kingdom. It's fine. Uh, so most of our diplo points on that. And Abdel Ludum has... Come to aid in the conquest of Hort Zakur against Jadari. What? What in the fuck are you talking about? What? He owns stuff all the way over here? I mean, sure, man. 
I don't want to join this war. But I can't afford to not join either. Hey, can... Okay, I just need to leave a stack on my capital. To deal with the orcs when they rise up. As annoying as that may be. Kind of the way it needs to go. Yeah, and this war with Jad is going to take forever because everybody's at war with Chad. <laughs> everybody's deciding that now's the best time to go at him. So, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, but who's the person that he comes and attacks? He's in like three wars. And then who's the person he goes to siege down? Me. He's like, ah, yes, the player. Ooh, do I care about tolerance of gnolls? I don't think I do. So I'm going to take the money. Thanks. And with that money, you already know what I have to build. Wait. Never mind. I'm not gonna do that yet. We'll just wait. Unstable foundations. Boo. That's what I have to say about that. Ooh! Give cartels 2% of land. Gain 15 loyalty. Yes. Okay, if I summon the diet... If I summon the Diet, that would give them five loyalty, five influence. It's not enough. Can I do any shenanigans in here? Yeah, I can get rid of Expanded Royal Court. This would disable calling the Diet, though. But it would be a 10% influence flip. Which would be enough. <sighs> Call Diet and Switch. Yeah, I agree. Call a diet. What do the cartels want? They want a marketplace in Grazum Deer. Okay. Then go Royal Favoritism. I don't know why I did. I should not have called the diet. I don't know why I listened to you guys. <laughs> that was not the correct thing to do. I could have already gotten rid of things. And I can't build it immediately. I should not have done that. Uh, just take the tech, honestly. Why is it that you're so determined to attack me, Jan? Uh... See, so the then reduce the influence. What? Not to 79 influence. Oh, hey, look, someone else helped me out. Doing the mission is extra li Mission? Oh, you mean this? Yeah, no, no, I know. But it wasn't an instant mission. It wasn't like a development mission. Oh, my goodness. I forgot, you have to follow the orcs. You can't, you can't forget. You have to follow the orcs. They're going to retreat. Just sitting here waiting to build this. Yeah. It's fine. We'll find a way to make it work. Come on. I'm not trying... To, I'm trying to get rid of all these pop-ups game. I'm not trying to... Put a colonist in here.
Takes seven months to build that. I... We may have to sell titles if I really want to get rid of it. Uh, just take Avante. He's fine. He's fine. Okay. Uh, I mean, there is one thing we can do. We can go to... We can upgrade those. We can go to the ruler magic menu. We can go to enchantment, and we can enchant our estates. So it'll give them 10% loyalty equilibrium. Uh, it's not enough, though. Yeah, I may have to sell titles here if I want to get rid of it. Which I don't really want to do. We were so close. If we weren't building that manufacturing, we would have gotten it. Whatever. Just sell. And then we get rid of cartel bookkeeping. Even though it's really good, I don't want to lose the absolutism from it, and it only gives influence. Yeah, it might still not... Oh. Then let's get rid of... Free Enterprise? That gives minus 10 absolutism. Can also get rid of right of... No, let's get rid of nobility officer rights. Mm, I'm gonna keep this. Actually, I don't need to keep it. Yeah, we can get rid of it. We already have unlimited loyalty and influence with these guys. Okay. That works. Learnings of an Elder. Oh, boy. Give me... Admin. I can always use admin points. And if I can't, I'll find a way to use it. Okay. Uh, we can celebrate a festival. Let's go ahead and do that. Carver of Caverns. Uh, we've gotten one base production in three provinces. And we get Divine Stone. We get minus two local unrest. And minus 10% hostile movement speed in those provinces as well. Gore Ozenbrog is unfortunately... Um, Jad. Disgusting. Horrendous, even. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to convert that. Cathedral? Even a cathedral doesn't get me there. Well, if I get an advisor, actually... It might get me there. Uh, I'm going to state up roads. That way I can fix the roads. Uh, Miradeth Earthseeker. First daughter of Dagger and Anvil Inn, Miradeth grew up in awe of her brother's wonders and sought to aid him in any way possible. For this, she sought her uncle as Mira Thazine's assistance, and he provided her with the first tool designed not to shape stone, but to break it. With pickaxe in hand, she carved out great caverns in the earth, piling the rubble high to form the first true mountains. She fed the metal bounty unearthed from the debris to Asmire Thazine's forge and left the stone for Duro Vizier to work with as he pleased. First miner, strike the earth. go and just make sure that we keep upgrading the rails now we are gonna have to repair this as well statesman died L uh, let's just save up our money so I can do this it's 10,000 ducats and then once we get nationalism we can actually start Expanding relatively quickly. The only person that's really going to cause us a problem is going to be Shattered Crown. Because nationalism, no work on Orc. Lots we'll of do regular old imperialism. 
Can I peace out of this war? Thank you. Because mostly I just don't want to be paying for my troops. <laughs> uh, age ability, sure. Yeah, the cartels are still a little bit too influential, but I mean, once that diet goes away, then we'll be good. Okay, and we're back to having rebels. There's the 10,000 ducats. And we can complete Improve the Tower. Bah! The tower's design is complete, and while moderately effective, it lacks the flair of Malachite architecture. Foreign mages could not hope to match our ambition or ability, and we shall upgrade the design accordingly. Okay. Rippy dippy 10,000 ducats. Uh, can you always stream the dance at the dentist? It was all planned. I knew that you were going to be at the dentist, and I was like, yes, today. Today is the day I stream. It's the only thing that makes sense. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I can have a lot more troops, by the way. So, go ahead and build another 50,000 of them. Undead army moment. Upgrade rails. Vertical Dromac is dug. To what level, though? We are at level 8, and I do need to get to level... not 8. <laughs> I know, very, very useful, very good. Let's just upgrade these buildings. I need to be level 9 for a mission, so... We'll need to do that. Rails are fixed. Keep fixing them. Devastation, big value, <laughs> big value, huge value, huge value, L great choice by me, the Edict of Absolutism. That's muscle memory right there for you. I just figured that would be where the development would be, but no, I actually wanted to get rid of the very present devastation that we have right here. Uh, you simply cannot comprehend my, my plans, okay? Uh, let's upgrade all of our forts. Sports go burr. Huge. Look at it. See, look, now we're getting prosperity. I'm just saying. The tower. As the tower has grown, so too is the unsettling atmosphere which extends beyond the tower itself and into the surrounding environs. Strange noises can be heard from the tower, utterances and chants, yelps and cries, dissimilar from the standard mage tower of other holds. Until the end of the game, we get plus five local unrest, 10% tech cost, minus 10% all power cost. Minus one monthly admin power. Ouch. Ouchie. Not good. Actually, I mean, it is good, but ouch. When's this going to be done? 1672. Yeah, let's get that done a little bit sooner. <laughs> 1672 is a bit too long for my liking. 66 is much more reasonable. Much, much, much more reasonable. Uh, lost Armory, 30 mil power, thank you. Encouraged Development, huge, massive. You need to go deal with the Rebels. Apparently I have a mission completed. Sleeper Research 5. Uh, yes. I'm good with doing Sleeper Research 5 because I'm not going to conquer all the Serpent Spine by the time I do this. Uh, oh sleep. It is a gentle thing. Beloved from pole to pole. The people drink it like a desperate man dying of thirst will suck the blood from his own arm just to cry out in delight. Terrifying. Uh, from within their slumbering worlds, the sleepers see all, yet there is still more to see. Go to the source. The sleepers approach the court to ask for help, for yet their most daring attempt to allow our ruler to delve into the depth of time and space in their dreams. They want to incorporate the altar into the best resting place that ever was and will be, as it is presumably the source of our dreams being closer to it would only make our dreaming more powerful. Look where our dreams brought us to. How could we not? Is my country about to explode? Because that's the vibe I'm getting. The vibe is we're about to explode. I'm just saying. Clueless. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, hey, Parfron. I started playing for one month. Can I ignore the ideas? What do you mean for, for one month? Like, playing as Virkle Dromac for one month? Is that what you mean? Or as regular dwarves? I don't know exactly what you mean by one month. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, no ideas. General missions. So, like. E4 in general? Or specifically, is Virkle Dromek? Like, I. It gotta be more. I, I need more specific so I can be helpful. Um. Because, like, in general, no, you shouldn't ignore the missions. Uh. No, I don't want to Royal Marry you. No, no, no. I'm good. Rail is upgraded, though. That's good. What's Ritual for Goods Producers going to do? I don't know, but we're going to find out, because that is the one that I want to click. Ooh, unless there's a Missionary Strength one. Uh, hello? Never mind. We're not going to figure out what it is, because I'm going to get 2.5% all power cost. Uh, but there is a missionary strength one. I don't really need it. Tells you. Uh, goods produced. Inspires people to take up arms. The minor deed will further embolden our people. I don't know, maybe it gives us troops. All power costs will bestow magical knowledge for ruler as a mage. Right, the all power cost gives us uh, study experience. I'm going to plan the sleepers' representatives gathered in front of the court for their annual update. They go over diagrams and charts for hours with smiley faces and voices filled with joy and pride as they talk about their progress. A short everything is fine. Uh, short everything is fine could have saved a lot of time. Oh, we are about to die. This campaign's about to come to a crashing halt. I'm, I fear what is about to happen. <laughs> Casual manufacturer with 4.5 ducats. Casual. Casual 4.5 ducats. Casual. Casual. Uh, yeah, I'm grabbing that. All power cost. So when she run, just talking about finger, I forgot to get admin ideas. Ooh, yep, you can't forget those admin ideas plain and hales. No, no, no. No, no, no. You gotta have them. Because you're gonna be conquering it all. You need the admin ideas. Uh, I mean, even in our YouTube series. Oh, wow, that's a big buy hundred. Playing as these guys. Uh, the mission tree isn't take all of Hales, but you do have to take all of South Hales if you want to have... Like, a semi-decent chance of defending against a command. Um, so, admin ideas it is. All the time. Every time. Just take admin ideas. Right? Just take admin, influence, like, uh, offensive or quantity. Every time. Alright? That's what you want to do. You know you want to blob. So just embrace it. Just embrace reality. Okay? New results. Another year, another project update. The sleepers tell how they were able to achieve the first manipulations of the energy of the altar and how at first their gauges got fried because their measurements went far beyond the scales. But now they adjusted, they are able to quantify the effects of their new experiments. They sure do know how to handle these powers. Oh, we are so dead. We are so unbelievably dead. Uh, we've also discovered a new deity. Durzo Brazan Goldenhair. Daughter of Asmira the Zine and Argazena, Durzo Brazan was taught mastery over all noble metals, such as platinum, silver, gold, and others, including Mithril. She made the jewelry of the gods, and her works were sung in praise and legend by many. Even the giants and dragons would entreat her with masterpieces. Though one foul worm kidnapped her during the Era of Desolation, they were struck down by Dagrin himself, and the silver beast's hide became the cloak she is often associated with. Durzo Brazan is the patron of all noble smiths, and silver statues of her likeness adorn many jeweler or whitesmith guild halls. Whitesmith being, I assume, mithril. Lost your claims on Segdir? Uh, I have permanent claims on the holds. And... Soon, TM, we're not going to need the claims. 
we're gonna have nationalism. So it sucks, but it's what it is. Tis what it is. Our manufacturers, even for our goods that aren't great, are still really freaking good. Like, they're worth a lot of money. Even though I should build, like, soldier households and all those, to be fair. Just pay the diplo points. Hey, with the Rainy and Blue Scarf Rebellion at the same time. I don't even know what the Blue Scarf Rebellion is, but that's rough. Do you really need manpower? Yes. No. I don't. But yes. <laughs> but no. I don't. You can also make the same argument, though, for money. Do I really need money? No. Not really. A uh, new deity can be selected. 5% uh, all estate loyalty. Yes, please. That's fantastic. Rolling in the deep, apparently. Uh, today is the day of the next update about the ongoing sleeper experiment. As the court gathers, the hold is shaken and a blue energy wave travels through the whole city. Minutes later, some sleepers stumble into the hall looking like they went through a heavy storm. Don't worry, this is just part of the conclusion of the last week's experiments. We were finally able to get the altar to feed itself with its own energy and is now permanently active. That sounds like a terrible idea. That doesn't sound like control, stop it for now. When a process screen the energy it needs itself can be harnessed, go on. I mean, they shouldn't do it. That's, that sounds like an absolutely horrendous idea. Keep doing it, though. Let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, we've discovered Verdun Diamond Eye. Originally a jeweler from the ancient Avdel Ludum, Verdun Diamond Eye was challenged by his peers to cut a gemstone that would captivate the god with his craft. After a long and grueling journey through the Tree of Stone and back, he returned to Avdel Ludum and presented a cut garnet to his peers. They told him that its match was in the possession of Dezobrazan himself. After making this declaration, he vanished. And the temple in Avdel Ludum, dedicated to her, contained a new mosaic depicting the wedding of Werdan and Dezobrazan. As the patron of courtship and love, many young dwarves sought his blessing for happy marriages. Homie cut a diamond so good he got to marry a goddess. Honestly, that's a that's a W race moment. That's that's impressive. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good at what I do. Goddess abducted me and married me for it. There are worse things. At least he got married. You know, could have gone worse. Uh, states are still enchanted. Garnet, not even a diamond. He's just built different. Okay, he's just built different. Uh, we're about to max out on Abbott. So we'll stab up. Give me absolutism too. Which we do want. Now we're just chilling. I'm just kind of waiting for my country to blow up at this point. Like with these events. Magical study progress. Thank you. We are now legendary in evocation. Which means I can start to work on illusion. Study magic. Spend more effort. Alright. What can I even do with legendary evocation? Oh, right. You get meteor strike. The only problem is it's just not as good as dominate to surrender. <laughs> like, if you don't care about uh, your magical infamy, you just dominate to surrender literally everybody on the planet and, you know, you're fine. Get rid of right of council. I'm going to keep my monarch point, though. Uh, we might need to get rid of reduced research regulations, but we'll see. Uh, what should we do now? You going for the achievement? Uh, hopefully, yeah. Gontrick got called down to the depths of Rickle Dromac to meet with the brightest of minds beyond the sleepers. The altar had sent out energy waves for some time now, but only recently the sleepers noticed that the intervals are getting shorter and the waves stronger. And now they have gathered for a meeting since they have come to the conclusion that on day X, when the waves will come so fast that the simple dwarf can't see the time between them, the altar might blow up and destroy a substantial part of our hold. Maybe we need a special tool to operate it. Because we're legendary in divination, we have this option. Maybe the altar's in complete lax function. Maybe we need more, more energy impulses from outside to break the waves. Uh, yeah, well, we have a special option, so let's click it. 
how to handle your tool. But their inspection of the altar reveals what we are looking for. It was indeed a tool to safely operate the energy source inside the altar. There was even a pictogram showing what we needed all along, though no one was able to interpret it until now. We now need to search all sources of precursor relics to find a device that matches the inscription, whether the nations will give us access or not. The search for a special tool started and new decisions are now available. Uh, and Lang, hello! Thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. It's been a while. How'd your stream go? Let me give you a, a shout out here. Boom. Easy. Skillful. Uh, yeah, welcome in, raiders. We're playing as the Sleepy Dwarves in Ambinar, and we're trying to make it to where a magical artifact doesn't blow up in our hold and kill everybody. Would probably be bad. Uh, improve capital military infrastructure. Am I really allowed to do that? I shouldn't be allowed to do that, but I might be allowed to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and encourage development in our capital. And get up to 110, so that way I can diggy diggy hole. Uh, which, I mean, I think I want to do. So I can buy relics. Oh, because our, our homie has relics, I can just buy them. Try to buy relics from a country that likes you. Uh, Divine Mission returns from with their bot relics that more or less match the description from the altar. The sleepers go to work immediately and try every relic thoroughly, but none interacts. Steel relics. Well, I like stealing. <laughs> stealing is good. Let's go ahead and build some spy networks on people then. Who own precursor relics. Quite a few, actually. Don't need a spy network there, but I do need a spy network on you. Pretty great. Been a while. Um, last few Persian missions actually just started a world war. Oh, as you do. As Paradox Gamers do, sometimes you just actually start a world war. <laughs> is what it is. Go ahead and dig that. Jad has a relic. They do? If they do, it's up here somewhere. I can't see. Uh, Parfron, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Accidentally commit war crime as you do. Yeah, I don't think it's always an accident, though. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm calling out the Paradox Gamers. I don't think it's always an accident. Uh, everybody is super loyal. I can't summon the Diet, though, so... But doesn't Season Land only... Yeah, it only lowers it by 15 loyalty. So, I mean, the adventurers are the only problems. Ancient treasure. Uh, 5,000 ducats sounds great. Thank you. I do like 5,000 ducats. 5,000 ducats are rather nice. More manufactories, please. Jad's cap was highlighted. Well, then he must have one up in the Forbidden Plains still somewhere. Sneaky Jad. Sneaky, sneaky Jad. Okay, just keep upgrading. When's our truce with Segdir up? 73, okay. That's gonna be our next war, so. Uh, as for you, don't think it really matters which one we choose. Just choose that one. Yes, mages are allowed to help me with my studying. Of course. Unpopular mathematician. I don't want to keep tanking my prestige, but I do want the inno. So I guess I'll keep tanking my prestige. Uh, the clear screen said Austria wouldn't join. They then proceed to come in, bringing Russia with them. Oh, that would complicate things. Yeah. That would, that, that would complicate things, for sure. Uh, Bourbon Azan Bronzeheart. Bourbon Azan, the second daughter of Azmira the Zin and Argazena, was taught the mastery of all basic metals, such as copper, tin, lead, pewter, bronze, brass, and others of their kind. 
Her artisanry skills were unmatched, and she could create lifelike or even living statues from the metals and alloys of her domain. Her creation served as magnificent guards, and during the era of diminishing, when Setsuvar's children attempted to steal the precious metals of the earth, it was her artworks that prevented them from inhabiting what would become the King's Rock. She is revered as the patron of all common smiths, and her likeness can often be found in statues or sculptures in their guild halls. Okay. Dwarves have got to have a different god for every kind of metal, it seems. Can't just have the god of metal. No, no, no. Got to have a god of special metal, a fancy metal, and a regular metal. You know, Spain and China with me this breaking a lot more. Well, I mean, hopefully China will be able to distract Russia then. You hope. You hope. Uh, who are you playing as? Oh, Persia. You said Persia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Austria wouldn't join. Who were you declaring on where Austria was doing the... Oh, yeah, I got 10% discipline, guys. Yippee. I definitely need the that right now. Yep. For sure. Uh, I could get Inno for... You know what? I'll take the Inno. I don't need it, but... Let me get to the funny 100 Inno number. Do that. <laughs> Kilwa? Wait. Kilwa? I thought you said you were doing Persia. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something in here ain't right. Unless you went for the absolute Chad move of starting this Kilwa, getting the mission that allows you to get claims on Persia, and then going and forming Persia. Oh, you were declaring on Kilwa. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, because there is, there is a reasonable path to starting this kill while informing Persia. Um, Austria was guaranteeing kill while? Weird. You live in a, your game's in a weird universe. Kill against claims on Persia? Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, you have to, there's a couple things that have to happen, but you can get claims on the entire Persia region. Uh, you need... Oh, what is it? So there's a mission that allows you to set up a diplomatic outpost with someone that owns a certain province in Persia. If if they are a different religion than you, then there is a pulse event that you will get that will break the alliance with that person, but will give you claims on the entire Persia region, even if it's not owned by that ally. Uh, it's pretty fancy. Pretty fancy mission. Kill wise is a, a very strong tag. Like, insanely strong tag. Do you have land in Sarhal? Uh, no. They do not. But, yes they do. They do, but it's down here. And I don't know. I, I don't know what's down there. We can't see it. Okay, so our next tech, or our next idea group is going to be admin idea. So I don't really want to waste our admin taking it early. I do want you guys to be level 5, though. If we can help it. We're going to steal relics. Our spies have returned bringing them a bunch of relics that more or less match the description, uh, but none of them interact with the altar. Steal the relics again. Uh, none of them interact with the altar. Steal the relics again. None of them interact with the altar. Hey. Am I just getting baited? I am I just going to blow up anyways? Is there no way to avoid it? It's one province. There's one province in the world that has the right one? I mean, I suppose that makes sense. But, like... What the heck? What the heck? Okay, who else can I build a spy network on? Laurent. I mean, that makes sense. Okay. But like, what if I can't see the relic province? Is this just a skill issue? Too bad? So sad? El Bozo moment? Like, what's going on here? L. <laughs> Damn. 
That easy, huh? Porta Aldresia, apparently, also. Yeah, they have some, too. <laughs> Rejoice, though, a new god of discovered. Op the Hammer, god of exploding metal. Oh, no. <laughs> no, please. No, please, not my hold. My hold has done nothing wrong. It doesn't deserve that. It doesn't deserve to get kablamoed. I tried to say kablooey and kablamo, and it kind of just came out weirdly. I don't want to go kaput. Uh, it's been like a kind of mission that lets you send an army out and get hints to where the one province is at. True, because man, this is rough. Okay, I need to re up that. Enchantment of. Estates, thank you. And that's the max out on our admin points. Honestly, just take the tech. Take the tech, click admin ideas. We save up now to get max admin points. We get the all power cost. Actually, I don't even know if it'd be worth it. It's 43% all power cost. But it's gonna cost us a lot of admin points to get there. I'm not sure it actually saves us admin points. Hmm. Server spine conquest mission? Yeah, I know, but like we're We're locked behind Segnir. We cannot conquer the surface. I mean we could like declare war a shattered crown, right? But <laughs> shoot. <laughs> he allied the rent, dude. Uh, Lord of Runes, a delegation of rune priests from Ures Azurin arrived in Virkal Dromak today, bringing with them carts loaded with magical artifacts and rune works of their own creation. They presented a few pieces as, and books as gifts as, to Gotrek the first, while the rest were sold to various nobles, mage guilds, and independent practitioners to assist the church's coffers. This mass distribution of magical items has undoubtedly reinforced the influence of our country's spellcasters for the foreseeable future, or at least until the objects are inevitably lost or damaged due to misuse or misfortune. We gained 400 magical study experience and minus 5% construction cost for five years. Not bad. He's old Dukin, too. It's not even like he's in the same religion group. Lorenz just allied him. Why? Is it Goed? No, it's Dame's Crown. It's because of the uh, Dame's Crown rivalry. Uh, hey, Ellie. Are you throwing yet? No. Well, maybe. Nope. We're trying not to blow up at the moment. Um, by stealing stuff. So we'll see how that goes. You didn't miss the big sleep? Nope, not yet. Uh, we... We did do two wars with Segnir, though. Um. But we did go Undead Army, because we were gonna lose if I didn't go Undead Army. Yay! Town Hall spam time! Yippee! I don't see the big boom. No, surely we'll find the correct relic. <laughs> I'm getting less convinced <laughs> every time I try and steal one and it doesn't work. I get less and less convinced that I'm actually going to find it. Okay, so Dame's Crown doesn't have it. Jad doesn't have it. Can you tell me there's not more people? Hey, they need to start cracking open these temples. Alright, build a spy network on you. Maybe you have it. Cape collapse, not good. The green tag next to Jad? Oh my god, what? Are you in debt? I mean, apparently not if you just gave me a thousand ducats. Uh, thanks. That is definitely kind-hearted. Green tag next to Jad? That's me. Oh, these guys? They don't have a thing. I'm just talking about these guys. 
They have Dame's Crown. Dame's Crown. Dame's Tear. If you do a World Conquest, you're guaranteed to find it. That's true. It's a good point. If only I didn't have to spend hundreds of Monarch points for nothing. That does kind of complicate things. <laughs> they got a whole Dame's Crown in them? Sheesh. That's pretty impressive. Uh, no. Steel relics. I'm not interested in buying things. Yo, huge orbitral moment. They're still alive. It is impressive that they're still alive. Okay, one more tick and then we'll be able to... Okay. We can do another steel. Boom! Nope. Order Aldresia, not the right ones. Can you upgrade the trade centers? The flag annoys me. I can also just do that. <laughs> well, it's not that bad. Like, there are so many things here. There are so many things. That's the one that pushes you over the edge? I mean, fair enough, I guess. Uh, Laurent caught my spy again. You know it's the Laurentish one. <laughs> you know it's... If, if I keep getting caught by Laurent, you know it's the Laurentish one. Why are there precursor relics here in Ruby Hold? What in the world? Or if the trolls had it, that'd be very funny. Uh, is our truce with Segdir about to be up? Yes, it is. And good news, they haven't allied anybody that's good, so. We're in the clear there. Let's get our troops back over here and get ready for this war. Let's go study progress. I think that completes it, doesn't it? Yeah. So Metropolis there. We have a tier 7 government reform we can do. No, no. Let's definitely not give the cartels any amount of influence. That's fine. Thank you. I'm already trying to gut the cartel loyalty. so Or uh, influence. so Because I'd like to get rid of colonial charters at some point. But they're making that difficult for me to do. There must be counter espionage. Uh, they most certainly are. Hmm, maybe not, actually. We're not rivals. I don't know. Maybe they're not. Maybe I'm just getting that unlucky. It's possible. Uh, call you back? Fuck me, dude. Uh, the intervals for the energy waves have gone down to the minutes over the last few days, and everyone is anxiously waiting for diplomats, merchants, or spies to return with what they were searching for. There were lots of tries, but nothing matched what we needed, but it was futile as the waves finally merged into one big tsunami. It sounds like the stone of the hole itself starts to scream as suddenly a giant part of the lower levels in the altar disappear into nothing, and only a giant empty sphere remains. But the wave did not only take away, it also left behind vibrating energy in the hold, the hundreds of incompatible relics in, in the minds of the sleepers, enough to work for, enough to work with for centuries. A uh, hundred devastation, lose nine development. We lose a dig level. Uh, we get plus one local goods produced for altar visitors. And precursor relics are now here, but... Wait, no. I don't want precursor relics. Scammed. Actually scammed. I have Mithril in my hold. No, dude. 1444. That's sad. I have Mithril, though. Man, I forget. This shit sucks, bro. I do get everything for science till the end of the game. My stamina send advisor cost, tech cost, idea cost. Modifier special relic. Okay, so are we still trying to steal things? Man. Slightly powerful modifier. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. I don't really want to go to war. I'm going to be real. We might just want to wait for nationalism. 
Mythal does go down. Yeah, but it's still worth a lot. I've been scammed. Bamboozled. Lied to. Uh, another one for spy network construction? Oh, there's all state loyalty, though. Eh, you mean spy network construction. Commandant has died. Rippy dippy. Yeah, land maintenance. That's definitely what I need. Do I want to get the all power cost to reduce the cost of these ideas? I don't think it actually saves us admin points. In the other group, I think it'd be worth it, but I don't think it's worth it for this. It might be, though. Spice spell. Ooh, true. Not there. Uh, what's it even under? Is it under divination? Uh, it's only on my neighbors. Oh, I do need to study, though. Illusion. Study. More effort. Thank you. I don't think I actually save. Uh, I'm just gonna do that okay mage of renown god dang it <laughs> of course i get the freaking all power cost reduction after i just spent all my admin points Ugh. i want the discipline guy throwing no that's not throwing how how was i supposed to know i can't see the future okay it's throwing <laughs> rail's been upgraded okay steel rail i oh man oh we found it our spies return bringing them a bunch of relics with that more or less matches the description from the altar. The sleepers go to work immediately. Indeed, we got lucky as one relic reacts to the altar. Uh, so it was owned by Rubyhold. Somehow, the other dwarves have it. Okay. So we get special relic. And then I click this button, right? And everything gets good. Finally, rest. The energy that courses through our entire empire's subconsciousness has become a climactic hum echoing through the dreams of all sleepers. Preparations have been completed. The ritual site is prepared. All that is required is the execution of the final ritual without killing every sleeping body within Vrokel Dromek and all the holds beyond. What could go wrong? Ignore my save. It's fine. I have total confidence that this will go swimmingly. Uh, finally, we found what we needed and got controlled access to the energy flowing inside the machine. In minutes, the sleepers were able to get rid of the overcharge waves and create a stable sphere around the altar, and as byproduct, creating a calming, mesmerizing, low-humming one could not only hear but feel in body and mind. Now it was almost trivial to the construct of the old perfect bed upon the altar. We can rest now. Uh, we gained three development in our capital. We produced precursor relics again in our capital. And we get research complete till the end of the game. We minus five percent all power cost and plus one monthly diplo. Oh, no explosion. No death. No destruction. Sus. Super sus. Only sleep? There be death instruction. Everything's calm. Too calm. Hmm. Okay. I need to save up 12,000 ducats so I can dig holds for the rest of my missions. Uh, we're dwarves. Why do we need this? 
Man, every time I say I want to save up money. Every single time I want to I say I want to save up money. Also, I'm making 49 ducats in gold, which is kind of crazy considering I own three gold provinces. Oh, never mind. I own, I own more. I do own Burkle. Yeah, okay. Burkle Gulan makes 19. Yeah, okay, never mind. Royal Joy Tree is outdated. I don't know about outdated. It's just an older one. I'm not going to spend the money. I'm going to do what the professionals call a little bit of greed. A little bit of greeting, perhaps. Save it up there. Okay, you need to be... Hold level five. So encourage development. Which means you need to be at 70, right? Yeah. Hopefully that automatically gets done. You need to be... Same thing. Encourage development. Why is there... A devastation there, okay. There we go. Oh, right, and I can manually dig you, even though I'm not supposed to be able to. And you. Right, because it's bugged. Right. Uh, Twingham, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Campaign complete. I'm not going to conquer the surface find. <laughs> I'm not actually going to conquer the surface find. Uh, not because we can't, but because I think it'd be very boring to watch. Like, extremely boring to watch. Like, at this point, it would just be Nationalism War, Nationalism War, Nationalism War, Obsidian Legion's back. And then this is just going to take forever. He's 984% war score. That's not... We don't need to do that to ourselves. No, no, no. no. We're going to consider it complete. <laughs> we're not... We're, <laughs> we're not going to conquer the entirety of the service line. So sorry. So sorry. Not going to happen. Uh, but I do want to get the rest of these missions done, which means we got to diggy diggy some holes. Console, yeah, we can console annex them to see what would happen. We'll see. There we go, admin, beautiful. Now we can get uh, minus 20% advisor cost. Huge. Because we, we needed it. We're really tight on money right now. Need our, no, I'm not sure what the next run's going to be. I don't know if we go right back to Rajan Haga. We might do that. Deep Goblin. El, El Bozo. He's got the old hold. No Serpent's Rot. Not yet. Uh, every time I watch the channel, bring bigger, make new content. I don't know how you do it. Make the game look so fun. Well, I'm glad that I make you feel that way. <laughs> Me sitting here speed five, <laughs> just digging holes. Yeah. Uh, we do have like seven years on this and seven years on that. Unfortunately, we do have to dig our capital twice now. Because it got lowered, which kind of sucks, but it was, I'll also say that was the second time my capital has gotten, well, not lowered, well, the dig increased up. It sent us back. Uh, the missionary in Forbidden Plains, yeah, Zabu to Task, which was pretty fun. We played that one. Uh, I enjoyed Zabu to Task quite a bit. It was very fun. Is there a list of runs you need to redo? Yeah, I have a list of them. I have a list of them. But Rajnahaga is one of them. And we have a Rajnahaga save. Though odds are we'll just do a 1444 for Rajnahaga, so that way I can use the newer Bitbucket versions. I forgot we were in a war. I'm gonna be real with you. 
Ooh, he Dawi could walk and fight me. Wouldn't appreciate that though. Okay, there we go. Vertical Dromac is dug. Encourage development. Honestly, just use admin points as much as possible. Just so it can be as fast as possible. Uh, you know what we could do? We can go to the mages and cast Aid Construction. For 2,500 crowns, I get minus 30% construction time, which is going to be kind of massive for us. Cancel that. I need to wait for the month tick. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how that math works. I'm going to be real with you. It went from 13 years to 4.8 years. Um, not great at math, but that's not 30%. Maybe the admin development also needed to... I don't have to wait for a month to... Oh, okay. Does it increase the speed of the ones that are already going? It doesn't look like it. Dak? Uh, yeah, Dak is on the list. It'll probably be the last one that we do, though. Just because we did this. Uh, I would also like to, before we end this run, get this guy to max mage level so I can get the achievement. So that way I don't have to do it again. Though I think with Dak you have to do it anyways for the mission tree. But. Clicking the dig button, reduce the math. Oh, okay, gotcha. It updates it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Get rid of that. Works. Thank you for the money. Appreciate it. Edicts. No edict. Thank you. Well, yeah, we're just chilling. We're just chilling. Doing magic. Digging holes. As you do. We can upgrade to the zombie horde, but better. And I guess skeletal hussars if you, for some reason, use skeletons with an undead army. Uh, Dragon Repairman, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. We're opening the menu updates to the HUD. Gotcha. <laughs> Cooler zombie horde. Uh, I gained 10 cartel loyalty. And with that, I can finally get rid of their last privilege. El Bozos. We did it. We have absolutism. Yippee! Doesn't matter, but if we did want to go conquer everything, well, we could. Instead of brains, they eat brains. Uh, true, true, true. You gotta add an extra A on for each level of zombie horde that you upgrade. You know, upkeep of armies just increases as they get uh, better. It's just how it is. You're still level two. You know what? Congrats. You're gonna be a level six. I did finish admin ideas, which means our admin tech is probably dirt cheap. Yeah, 70 years ahead of time. 70. Seven years ahead of time is 685. Pretty much free. Um, could have gotten construction costs down. What does the dev cost one do? Less caverns. We'll speed up digging of our capital. Yep. That's the one I want. That's it right there. I found it. Diggy diggy hold faster. Thank you. Uh, if you want to do raw, you can do Tiltagar. Well, well, what I'm doing is I'm going back and I'm redoing mission trees for nations that we didn't ever, like, complete. Or complete to at least satisfactory part. Uh, so that's why Rajnahaga is on the list. It's because we started as Rajnahaga to do Virgil Dromak and these guys. Beer Dwarves. Hey! So... That's why. That's why it's on the list. I haven't played Tiltagar. And there are more people inside the Raj that I do need to play as. Uh, for example, uh, Maldalakon. I need to do a run as. So waiting for Lake Fed run. Oh yeah, no, Lake Fed run is on the is on the list. Uh, Virgil Dromac has been diggy diggy hold. 
which means I can complete Evolution of Mazes. The Dwarvar's most legendary mazes were those built by Kekig, the maze maker of Verkal Skomdir, whose twisting labyrinths were said to be able to keep even the Fae themselves at bay. Our latest designs may not match his brilliance, but they do come close. Any except those who follow a Malachite guide will be hard pressed to even find our holds, let alone assault them. Greatly improved defense capabilities of all own holds. Okay, well, what does that mean? We have 262% defensiveness. So it's 20% defensiveness. 25%. I mean, hey, that's pretty good. Uh. You put yourself into a perfect copy of you. I don't know if I go as far as to say a perfect copy of me, but uh, I think I'd at least have a two in diplomacy. Come on. Gotta have at least a two. Uh, we will centralize our hold. Because then I can go ahead and start digging all of the holds. And if I didn't have to spend so much damn money on literally nothing in this run, then we'd be in a much better spot and we could have done it a lot more. Enchantment estate. Hey, does it does our hold not actually blow up? Are we actually chill and good? And like we're fine? Because I found the special relic? Like, are we... It's not actually going to blow up? We sleep? Mm, I don't like that. Feels wrong. Feels like I'm playing an elf or something. You had 100 devastation? Yeah. That's true, I guess. I did have 100 devastation. This is a true fact. And lost a whole level of XP. That's also true. Uh, that's all, that, that was pretty rough. We did kind of get obliterated by that. No edict there. Okay. That's fine. The Raj keeps getting eaten. This Buvari is absolutely terrifying. 600,000 troops, by the way. 600,000 armies. Buvari. Zero mercenaries, by the way. Zero mercenaries, by the way. <laughs> oh. I kind of want to declare war on them here. Like, at the very end of the run, just to see if they hire a bunch of mercs or not. Vein of precious minerals found. Money. Thank you. No! No! Don't bring your truck. Don't bring your alliance with me. You wouldn't do that. These guys have 568,000 troops. That's quite a bit of troops. <laughs> you guys want manpower? Uh, sure. I'm not sure how helpful my manpower is going to be for you, but sure. If you really want it, I can send you some bodies. Bring it over naval strength. Yeah, you know, the, the naval strength of the serpent spine tags. You know how it is. Just the way it goes. Okay, you're 57% of the way done. You're 51% of the way done. Let's just go put some troops on these just to make sure nothing goes wrong. Because I'm pretty sure those are the last missions that we need to do. Yeah, Hall of Medic and this. Oh, that needs to be level 5. Grosvenor needs to be level 4. Am I digging to level 4 here? Yeah, okay. And here I'm digging to level 5. Perfect. And it'll be done. Uh, kind of maybe shame to admit, never played Dali, never said the appeal. When I tried, I only confirmed I don't understand why people like them. It's pain half the time, it's B5 the other half. Should I still give it a try? Uh, if you don't like it, then there's no reason to play it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with seeing that you won't enjoy something in a video game and go, yeah, you know what? That ain't for me. That, that's not my, not my style. Um, the reason why it's pain is because... 
Uh, dwarves hit their power spike earlier in the game than other tags do. So, like, for example, long term, it's better to be outside the Serpent Spine. Sorry, that's just the reality of it. It, it is. Like, Serpent Spine is it's very good in the mid-game to be there, which is why they have all their disasters. Because if they didn't have their disasters, no one would be able to stop dwarves in the mid-game. Um, late game, though, it's better to be outside when you can actually take advantage of trade. Because trade is the largest weak point for some dwarves. Some dwarves are obviously fine with it. Like, if you own this, you can get a decent amount of trade. But the trade that you get in this will really never be able to compare with the trade you can get in the Dame's Head. Right? Or the Gulf of Rahan. Like, you're just not going to be able to do it. You can't get the trade companies with the trade investments. Because all of your... Uh, all of your governing capacity goes into your holds. Um, but if they didn't have the disasters, Dwarves in the mid-game would absolutely thrash everybody. Uh, the bedrock. When constructing a hold, there are many things to consider. Among others, the rock must be relatively workable, the area must be fairly geologically stable, the civil planning must handle air and water flows, and there must be ample room for future expansion. However, during our recent expansion of our capital hold, we seem to have hit the world's bottom. A seemingly infinite layer of tough volcanic rock, slightly warm to the touch, is what High King Godfrey sees when looking at the recently finished new bottom floor of Virgil Dromac. Our digging experts claim that it would be practically futile to attempt to continue expanding downwards, and that we are better off accepting that this is the end. This is truly a momentous occasion, yet somber. Since time immemorial, Dwarven society and digging holes has been heavily conjoined, and the idea that there could one day be an end to the digging seemed absurd. No known Dwarven ancestral tale mentions anything like this. Perhaps in the future, Dwarves will revere Gotrek the Excavator. A new ancestor is forged. Oh, I'm sure we could keep digging. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure we can keep digging. We might just not like what we find if we keep digging. Now, it says we can improve the capital artisan infrastructure, but we already have the ornatorium, so I'm not going to click that button. Uh, for my disaster is to direct as much trade from Star Hall and the planes for easy dwarven reach. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Are there any Canary mysteries you got to redo? Uh... Mm, no, I don't think so. Like, I have Everthill on the list, but... Like, Everthill... That is an outdated mission tree. <laughs> There's really not much to it. Um, so I might just skip that one and wait for it to, for someone to rework it. Or you can actually go and do colonization with Starhall and stuff. Because um, otherwise, I mean... What's the point, right? So, we'll see... Can you show the trailer? Do you have to show viewers what awaits us if we dig too deep? I wouldn't want to spoil things. I wouldn't want to spoil what happens when you dig too deep. But you should dig deeply and greedily. Yes. Digging deeply and greedily is good for the soul. Builds character. Releases demons. Well, you know, it's fine. Just, just do it. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it. Thinking is bad. Thinking uses brain power, which you could be using to dig more holes. Counts League and Hill Knolls. Yeah, we do need to do the Hill Knolls for the achievement. Uh, so that one we will do at some point. Uh, Counts League I have on there. I'm not sure if we'll actually do it, though. Uh, but it is a possible option. Dig straight down. Minecraft told me that. True. True. D -d 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 -d. I've been thinking about picking up... Uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, Vintage Story. Like, I have the game. I've been thinking about playing it. Which is like Minecraft, but more like, uh, what's that mod? The mod that makes a game, like, harder. Uh, frick. Uh, Terraformacraft. It's like Terraformacraft. Um, I don't know, though. I don't know if I want to start investing in it. Or not. No, not RLcraft. Not, not that kind of difficulty. Good difficulty. <laughs> Not I show up and immediately get blown up, but you actually have to, like, do stuff to progress. And you don't, you know, get the best stuff in the game within, like, ten minutes of playing. Having a tree fall on you sucks, but it is funny. It is very funny when a tree falls on you <laughs> and you weren't expecting it. Okay, there's the magic study experience. 
for 500 of 2,000. Uh, we're at the point now where I think I just spam out Lore Seeker. Oh, uh, has it cooled down of a year now? Literally 1984. I'm um, trading in Precursor Relics, apparently. Which gives trade efficiency and tech cost. L to the rest of the world. I have one Precursor Relic province, and <laughs> now I'm just, I control it. It's just mine. Uh, I just own Precursor Relics. They're all mine now. Fight 10 redo, got to buy Mithril. Yeah, I should probably leave. I, I, I should have just said in the video, because there are people in the comments of yes or today's video that are asking what mission tree I was talking about when I was talking about buying a resource and spending all your money and going bankrupt. Um, I still got to respond to my comments today. Um, it's Fight 10 you got to play as. 42 goods produced? It really is the answer to everything. Oh, right. I have to build a trade station. Never mind. We're getting... Uh, 42 is not the answer. We're getting more. We're just studying and we're digging holes. That one's almost done. This one is also almost done. 98% huge. Massive gameplay. <sighs> Blame Alfonsi? I will. It's a good nerf. You shouldn't be able to just spam out <laughs> research every month. That's dumb. Uh, School of Diplomats. In Vertical Dromag, we've always looked inward, peering into the mysteries that are, bound, are about us. If we had an opposite, perhaps it was the hold of Grazum Deer, which sent countless envoys to the Raheni and maintained cordial, if not friendly, with almost every other hold, even during the last days of the Dwarvar. With the Paradot hold finally matching its prior glory, we should ensure this tradition is not lost either. Dig up the hole's lost writings and use them as the foundation of a new school to ensure all of our diplomats act in the finest traditions of Grazimdir, for the advancement of Virgil Dromac, of course. Greatly improve our diplomatic capabilities. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I straight up don't know what that means. Greatly improve our diplomatic capabilities. You no longer get my 50 rando? Oh, okay. I suppose that's nice. I suppose that's a good thing. All right, now we're just waiting for this and the study experience and then we're, we're done. Bum, bum, bum. We're over halfway there. Divination, lore seeker. There we go. Another 250 experience. Foreign trade. Oh, yeah. We want that mercantilism for sure. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 21% mercantilism. Oh, huge. Have you done all three projects or only two? Oh. Thank you for pointing that out. I forgot about that. I've only done two of them, I think. I've only done... Wait, no, that's not true. I did Homunculus. Is it bugged? No! Monkey Light doesn't count because the Lich. What? So, you, wait. No. I would have had to have done the homunculus before? Well, it's saying that I can redo it, but we definitely did it, right? I'm not crazy. We definitely did the homunculus. Yeah, because we made it an absolute unit. It needs to be the air. No. Wait. But it doesn't, it doesn't say it has to be the air. It doesn't say it has to be. That means that we might just have to wait until we do DAC or something then. Oh, is it a gnome bug? Oh, damn. 
absolute unit still. One item point worth it. Okay, well, then we'll, we won't worry about it. We'll just have to uh, get that one completed when we do deck or something. Unfortunate. Bum, bum, bum. Near maximum monarch power. Okay. Sounds fine. I don't really care. Uh, more mechanicalism, please. Is this almost done? Yes. It is, in fact, almost done. Uh, at least you're in before you disappear for a week. We start a new run today. Uh, we, will not, we won't start a new run today, no. Be a bit of a shorter one. All right, uh, Hall of the Medic. The beer halls of Holas Krakazol, Hall of the Ale Crafter, are flowing once more, which brings a smile to any dwarf's face and a stein to their lips. But a few see the potential for more in its verdant gardens and clever brewers. Rather than potions of delicious intoxication, they might brew potions of healing and recovery. A medical school will mark the hold taking steps beyond what it was to what it can be. We should start construction right away. Greatly lower the number of injuries during street fights. Yippee! Okay, now it's just own the whole world. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> okay, well, then I suppose there's no reason in waiting for... It's one more event. It's one more event to at least get to our max uh, skill and magic. And then we'll console annex all these guys to see what happens ba, 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 ba. So yeah fun fact if you want to play vertical dromac take Abin ideas so you can actually uh, conquer all the surface spine precursor knowledge uh, sure okay it's actually two events lore seeker good point Here we go. Magical study success. Is it really? That's so sad. That's so unbelievably sad. Because like even if when we play DAC, like you go Lich first before anything else. So we can't even do it as DAC. We have to do it as someone else. I don't know. Not a problem for current me. All right. Uh, so that's the end of the official run, right? We've done all the missions except for the conquer the entire serpent spine. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so now we'll just use consoles just to see what this does. To see, like, would it have been worth our, our time and our effort to try and go and take all of this? The answer, I think, is no. Uh... But you never know. It's possible. Maybe, maybe it would have been worth it. And I'm being a cheater and a hater. Impossible. No, it's not impossible. It doesn't say you have to do it at the same time. You would just have to get the homunculus before you become a lich. Which, for Dak, is not a realistic expectation. Because if you hesitate on becoming a lich's Dak, then you die. And life sucks. And you get very sad. Um, I'm just going to integrate all of our sergeants. Just I don't care. And finally, H72. Wow, okay. There we go. All right, we own the serpent spine. Right? Yes, we do. Fun fact, I'm still making money. I guess I did integrate them, so I have 2 million force limit now. Casual. Uh, but we don't care about that. We care about own the whole world. Uh, as been foretold, the world, the deep, dark, cavernous world is ours. We have become the greatest conquerors of old. We have surpassed them, a new empire forged in stone and woven in dreams. Unbreakable, unimaginable, they will remember our name forever. Uh, the air is different in the hold as Gotrek the first prepares the rituals for this year's rest. For the first time in ages, the Dwarvars is united. For the first time in ages, the Dwarves dream not of the glories of the past, but rather of the ones yet to come. And then he was assassinated. 
It's a good thing. It's a good thing that I did not spend my time going and conquering that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's a good thing that I did not go and do that because I would have been pissed. <sighs> and then he was assassinated. Wow. Assassinated. It's freaking. Whatever. I could also become military hegemon. Oh, by the way, um. The lake fed just grabbed uh, eco hegemon. But the ammo efficiency. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad because we keep the magic skill. We lose a couple of traits, a couple of points. It's not all too bad. Yeah, once you conquer everything, have 10 admin efficiency. Yeah, it's like, okay, I don't need it now. Yeah, hit by the curse of Ra. The curse of skill issue. Simply don't die. Simply live next time and maybe you'll be fine. Oh, also, Orden United. I just clicked TI just to look at it. Why is it weird? Hey, wait a second. Why is Orden a weird color? Does Orden get to keep their color now with like how Japan forms and stuff? Ew! Summer court? Gross! They keep color. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I don't like summer court, though. Ugh. They like boats and stuff. Terrible. Horrible. Zero out of ten. Murd Cather formed? Oh wow, look at that, or mom. Holy cow. A me on who? A me on who? Oh, Mert Cather formed it. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, we'll be back tomorrow, probably. Hopefully. That's the plan. Uh thank you all for being here. Appreciate it. I know I disappeared for a while, but we got there in the end. Uh Time do you really want a time lapse of like the world? Okay. Fine. We'll do a quick time lapse. Max speed time lapse. There you go. See you tomorrow next month. I mean you're not wrong. Tomorrow is next month. But I don't know if I don't know if you're doing like a haha funny see you next year kind of joke or, or if you're saying I'm gonna disappear again. I don't plan on disappearing again. Uh hopefully. Hopefully. All right. Let's see if there's anyone out there that we can raid. Go say hello to. Uh, da, 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 da. You are already in the next month. L. L. Uh, Lambert, I think. I think he's wrapping up right now, probably, if I had to guess. For the multiplayer game. Uh, also, you'll have assignments. He's playing some Stellaris. A little bit of Stellaris gameplay. Yeah, Jad expanded quite well until they, you know, didn't. <laughs> until they got, got. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.